Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation and I used to be a divorce mediator. That was way over 20 years ago. I changed my practice over to helping couples because the mainstream doesn't work. Western psychology is an inappropriate way to help people with their marriages. And so I have produced a better understanding of what marriage actually is and how to have a great marriage, not just a good marriage. And so this topic comes up a lot. And the topic is three reasons for not bringing up the past in a relationship. And the reason it comes up is because people routinely do. And it's not healthy, and I'm going to explain why? I'm not just going to say it's not healthy, don't do it. That would be asinine. I'm going to explain it to you. So it broadens out your knowledge of marriage altogether, which is very important. And there's a lot you can learn by reading one of my books, either Breaking the Cycle or Lessons for a Happy Marriage. If your marriage is in a lot of trouble, you should definitely consider getting one of the courses because it'll turn it around completely completely from suffering and sliding to amazing and increasing happiness. So here's the three reasons. Let's go down the list. Number one, the past isn't clear. It is not what you think it is. Even when something happens, it's a very interesting thing. I, I remember hearing this many, many years ago that the original Indians who saw the first ships coming in from Europe couldn't see them. They literally could not see them. It took two or three days before they could make out what it was because in their minds they have no way of identifying what this thing is floating on the water with all the big sails and everything. And this is illustrative of how our mind works. You know, when we see something, information is coming to us. But the mind has to explain to us, to explain to itself, what it's seeing. And the way it does that is it pulls from past experiences and is able to define what it's seeing. You know, you may see a big cloud of smoke in the distance and you'll think it's a fire when actually it's a truck driving on a dirt road. The mind defines. And that's at the moment. And it always embellishes it explains not only what it's seeing, but what it means to you. And the reason it does that is because we carry with us, every single one of us, because we have a, a physical body, we carry this drive to survive. And it's implanted in our psychology. And so we're always seeing things in a way where we see danger first. We're always looking for danger first. So when we go into the past, Let's say, for instance, we ask our spouse, hey, what about that relationship you had with that guy? And she says, well, it, it was, we were just friends. And you go, yeah, right. So you don't want to bring that stuff up because it's not clear. You don't live in a court of law with your wife or your husband. You live in a marriage. And so you don't even want to get into all of that. And for sure, if you bring up an event in the past, it will be an argument for sure. So that's the easy one. It gets more complicated with two and three. Number two, and this truly sucks, but it's truly real. <laughs> Number two is any time you bring up the past in a relationship, it's weaponized. 
you are not bringing it up. When you ask this question about bringing up the past in a relationship, it's not because you want to talk about three Christmases ago when you got the greatest gift you've ever received or when you got engaged. It's weaponized. So you don't get married in order to beat each other up. You get married for two basic reasons. And this is why you need to subscribe to this channel because these are the reasons that drive all of these videos. Number one is you get married in order to be happier every single day of your life, ever increasing happiness. And it's doable. This is not pie in the sky. I've been doing this for over 20 years. People have been taking our courses and they've been experiencing a shift in their marriage to where they experience happiness, increased happiness every day of their life. The second reason you get married is to experience love, unconditional love, marital love. It's a human birthright because we have the ability and we have free will. We get to choose all of our behaviors, all of our perceptions, and why would we not take advantage of that to experience unconditional love? When you weaponize anything, but especially the past, because, oh, this is juicy, you're doing the opposite. You're not communicating happiness and love. You're communicating tension and mistrust and accusations. That's <laughs> not what you want. Why would you do that? It's like having a beautiful new couch and intentionally spilling crap on it. You don't do that. Number three, this is the most important to always keep in mind. You have free will. You're supposed to learn how to master your mind. You're supposed to be happier every single day of your life. You're supposed to experience more love every day of your life. What's in the past that will help you do that? You may bring that into your future, but you control your destiny. You control today, tomorrow. Sorry about that dog. I don't know what its problem is. I should go out and talk to it. You need to learn to live in the now and you should use your power of communication, your power of discernment, your power of judgment to create a future that is happy, that is filled with love. Don't go into the past. It never does any good. Never. Ever. <laughs> Are you getting the message? It's a waste of your energy. You're mulling over stuff. You're dwelling in the negative. You're soaking up your anger. You're soaking up all these negative vibes instead of plotting a positive, joy-filled future. So that's why you don't bring up the past in your marriage, in your relationship. Whew. <laughs> I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. I hope you like this video. Hope you subscribe. Hope you join me again. God bless and take care. Thank you.